Hello everyone, welcome to Pharma Guide. In this video, we will study about the manufacturing defects of the tablets or the problems associated with the tablet manufacturing. Okay, if you are watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And at the end, if you like content of my video, please do not forget to like it and share it. The problems associated with the tablet manufacturing, the tablet processing problems can be due to problem in the formulation or in the compression equipment or both of them. Okay, if there is any problem which is coming during the manufacturing, it can be due to the problem in the formulation or problem in the granulation. If there is any problem in the granulation material or in the compression equipment, if there is any problem related to the punches, die or the tablet press or problem can be related to both of them. Thus, we can classify the problems in the following types. First is the defect related to the tableting process. First is the capping. Capping is the partial or the complete separation of top or bottom of the tablet. Top or bottom of the uh, top or the bottom part of the tablet separates completely from the tablet due to air entrapment in the granular material. Second is lamination. It is separation of tablets in two or more layers or you can say layering due to the air entrapment in the granular material. Third is the cracking. It is due to the rapid expansion of the tablets when the deep concave punches are used. So after the defects related to the tableting process, next is the defect related to the excipients or related to the granulation. First is the chipping. It is due to very dry granules. Sticking. It is due to adhesion of the granulation material to the die wall. Sticking is sticking of the material to the die wall. Picking is removal of material from the surface of the tablet and its adherence to the punches p for picking p for punches so picking is addition of the material to the face of the punch then binding now these problems five this sticking picking and binding these are due to more amount of binder in the granules or due to more wet granules then next is the defect related to more than one factor what is this mottling Mottling may result due to a color drug, a drug which has different color from that of the excipients. Okay, so it is due to a color drug which has different color than rest of the granular material. This may be the problem related to the excipient, or if there is improper mixing of the granular material, then it may also result in mottling. Then dirt in the granular material or on the punch faces may re result in mottling or the oil spots by using the oily lubricant may result in mottling then the defect related to the machine that is double impression it is due to free rotation of the punches which have some engraving on the punch faces okay so these were only definitions now we'll discuss one by one in detail first is capping what is capping capping is the term used when the upper or the lower segment of the tablet separates horizontally either partially or completely from the main body of the tablet and comes off as a cap during the ejection from the tablet press or during the subsequent handling. You can see in this picture, now what is capping? The upper or the lower segment of the tablet, it may separate partially or completely from the main body of the tablet during the ejection or during the subsequent handling procedures. Now capping is usually due to air entrapment in the compact during the compression and subsequent expansion of the tablet on the ejection of a tablet from a die. So this capping may result from uh, due to two reasons. First is the air entrapment in the compact and it may also result due to subsequent expansion of the tablet during the ejection. During the ejection stress relaxation uh, of the tablet occurs and if this process of uh, stress relaxation is very fast it may result in capping. Okay, now how this air entrapment results in capping? Now as the air is released from the granules, it can also push very fine of the dry granule fines outwards. Now if there is air entrapped in the uh, granulation, when the compression force will be applied, this air will be moved out and it will push the fines of the granules, very fines also, uh, it will push very fines with it. So these particles, these fine particles, they do not stick to each other and when these fines these are pushed with the air released near the cup the tablet bends tablet will bend and these fines they do not stick to each other and they prevent the granules from being compressed so these fines will collect here due to the release of the air from this area and the uh, air will push these fines here so these fines will prevent the tablet uh, with these granules 
for being compressed and this will result in the fractured tablet. Okay, now we will see the causes and the remedies related to the formulation and related to the machine. First the causes and the remedies of the capping related to the formulation. If large number of fines, if there are large number of fines in the material it may result in capping. So if we remove some of the fines from the granulation material by passing it through the 100 to 200 mesh screen it may lessen the chances of the capping. Second is improperly dried granules. So dry the granules properly too dry or very low moisture content leading to the loss of proper binding action. If the granulation is very dry then we can increase the quantity of the binder, we can add the hygroscopic substances like sorbitol, methyl cellulose or polyethylene glycol 4000. Next is when the compression may not be formed due to cool temperature. Okay, this compression process may not be formed due to cool temperature. So compress the tablet material at some higher temperature. So these are the causes and these are the remedies to prevent the capping. Next is the causes and the remedies of the capping related to the machine. Now if there is improper setting of the lower punch which causes the sweep of blade to cut the surface. If the lower punch is not adjusted properly then the sweep of blade which takes away the tablet okay it will cut the surface so if the lower punch is not fitted properly it may result in capping so correct the height of the lower punch uh, so that the tablet is smoothly ejected second high turret speed okay high turret speed what will happen due to high turret speed rapid relaxation or you can say expansion of the tablet will occur during the ejection that may result in the capping so reduce the speed of the turret or increase the dwell time deep concave punches or beveled edge face of the punches may result in capping use the flat punches it may reduce the chances of capping then poorly finished dies if the dies are not polished properly they may also result in capping so polish the dies properly okay now lamination lamination is the separation of tablet in two or more distinct horizontal layer you can see clearly difference between the capping and the lamination in this picture this is the capping removal of the upper or the lower part of the tablet completely from the uh, main body and lamination or layering is the separation of tablets in two or more distinct horizontal layers okay now how lamination occurs lamination offer occurs due to over compression of the tablets too much compression force can lead to the granules flattening out and thus preventing them from locking together. When the compression force is applied, partial deformation occurs at the point of contact of the granules and binding of the particles occurs. And if we ap apply force more than that, that is the over compression force is applied, it may result in the fracture. So this can also happen when more fines are there. This can also happen when the fine particles do not combine as these particles do not compress well. So now we will see the, these causes and remedies of the lamination. These are the uh, causes related to the tableting machine. Fast decompression of the tablet. Fast decompression of the tablet. So uh, fast decompression may result in the lamination. So what is the remedy? Pre-compression step should be included in the process to reduce the final compression pressure and the turret speed should be reduced. So pre lamination can be avoided if the pre-compression step is included in the process to reduce the final compression pressure and the turret speed is reduced. Next is rapid relaxation of the peripheral regions of the tablet on the ejection. During the ejection tablet also faces the stress, stress of the stress relaxation also and stress due to the ejection, uh, ejection of the tablet also that the lower punch is pushing the tablet up. So tablet is facing many of the stresses there. So rapid relaxation of the peripheral region of the tablet on the ejection of the die it may also result in lamination. So if we use the tapered dies that is the upper part of the die bore has an outward taper of 3 degree to 5 degree. So these are the uh, these are the machine related problems which we can overcome by these uh, using these remedies. Now the problem related to the excipients if the granule may contain the oily or the waxy material it may result in lamination. So we can use the suitable adsorbents or the adsorbent should be added to the granulation to avoid the lamination. If there is lot of mag is magnesium instead it used is in more quantity 
then use the less amount of binder or change the type of binder magnesium stearate can also result in lamination okay now cracking what is cracking when the fine or the small cracks are observed on the upper and the lower central surface of the tablets or infrequently on the side wall these are referred to as cracks you can see very clearly in this picture there is a small crack on the upper central surface of the tablet so what are cracks these are the fine small cracks observed on the upper or the lower central surface of the tablets or very infrequently on the side wall also it is observed due to or crack cracking occurs due to rapid expansion of the tablets during the ejection or during the stress relax when the stress relaxation occurs especially when the deep concave punches are used so cracking is due to rapid expansion of the tablets now in deep we will study this the causes and the remedies of cracking related to the granulation if the granules are of very large size it may result in cracking so we can reduce the size of the granules and add some fines if the granules are very dry it may also result in cracking so we can add proper amount of binder and moisten the granules properly if the tab tablet expands uh, very rapidly it may result in cracking this is the uh, important point so we can improve the granulation and by adding some of the dry binders we can avoid this cracking if the granulation is too cold then we can compress the tablets at the room temperature so these are the uh, causes and the remedies of the formulation now the causes and the remedies of cracking related to the machine due to the air entrapment tablet expands on ejection and results in cracking so we can avoid it by using the tapered dies okay deep concave punches causes cracking while removing of the tablets or during the ejection of the tablets these deep concave punches these may cause cracking and we can avoid it by using the special take off or a special ejection of the tablet okay now what is chipping chipping is defined as breaking of the tablet edges while the tablet leaves the press during the subsequent handling operations and the coating operations you can see in, the, in this picture very clearly this is chipping breaking of the tablet edges during the ejection of the tablets or during the further subsequent handling or the coating operations it may be due to incorrect equipment setting incorrect setting of the dies and the punches or the misaligned ejection of the tablet now the causes and the remedies of chipping related to formulation first sticking on the punches if the granulation is stick sticking on the punches it may result in chipping so we can dry the granules properly or increase the lubrication if the granulation is too dry it may also result in chipping we can avoid it by moisten the granules to plasticize and add the hygroscopic material too much binding also causes chipping at the bottom so optimize the binding if too much amount of binder is there so optimize the amount of binder or we can use the dry binder you know the causes and the remedies of chipping related to the machine groove of the die born at the compression point if groove of the die inside die is damaged at the compression point it may result in chipping so we can avoid it by polishing to open end we can polish the die properly or we can simply reverse or replace the die second is when the barrel dies are used these barrel dies what are barrel dies this is uh, this center of the die is wider than the ends center of the die is wider than the ends so we can make them cylindrical we can make this die cylindrical by polishing them polish the die to make it cylindrical to avoid chipping if edge of the punch face turn inside or inwards if the edge of the punch is also damaged and it turns little bit inwards it may result in chipping so we can polish the punch edges to avoid chipping concavity too deep to compress properly concavity of the punches or very deep concave punches are used it may result in chipping so we can reduce the concavity of the punches if we reduce the concavity of the punches uh, we have, we can avoid chipping and we can also use the flat punches next problem is a sticking what is a sticking a sticking refers to when the tablet material adheres to the die wall okay sticking refers to the tablet material adhering to the die wall now filming is slow form of uh, sticking and is largely due to excess moisture in the granulation sticking may mainly result due to large amount of mo excess moisture in the granulation now sticking also causes production of the tablets with the rough edges if sticking problem is there then the tablets which are produced are of rough edges sticking causes production of the tablet with the rough edges now if this problem persists if this problem remains then this may cause chipping in the later stages it may result in chipping 
Now the sticking produces the unusual stress on the cam tracks and the punch head and it may result in their damage. Sticking is mainly due to improperly dried granules or the improperly lubricated granules. Now the causes and remedies of sticking related to the formulation. First is that if the granules are not dried properly, so we can dry the granules properly and this is important that we can make moisture analysis test to determine the limits that at till what point the granules are to be dried. Then the lubrication when lubrication is too little or lubrication is improper, this may result in sticking. So we can avoid this by using or by increasing the lubricant concentration and we, by changing the lubricant also. If the binder used is in excess, we can reduce the amount of binder or we can use different type of bind binder to avoid the sticking. If the granular material is hygroscopic, it absorbs moisture, then we can modify the granulation and compress under the controlled humidity. When the oily or the waxy materials are used, then we can modify mixing process and add an adsorbent, absorbent. Then the, if the granules are too soft or weak, it may also result in sticking. So we can optimize the granulation technique and the amount of binder. We can now causes and remedies of the sticking related to the machine. First is if the punches are too concave, it may result in sticking. We can avoid it by reducing the concavity to optimum. If the compression pressure applied is not optimum, we can increase the compression pressure and if the speed of the compression is very fast, so we can reduce the speed of the compression to avoid sticking problem. Now next problem is picking. What is picking? Picking happens when small amount of material from the tablet surface sticking to or being removed off from the tablet surface by the punch face. If some material from the tablet surface is removed off by the punch face, it is called a picking. Now this problem is more prevalent on the upper punch faces than on the lower punch faces. It more occur on the upper punch. Now the problem increases if tablet are repeatedly manufactured in the in this station of tooling. If repeatedly tablets are manufactured in this station of tooling because of more and more material getting added to the already stuck material on the punch face. More and more material get added on the, this punch face if the tablet are repeatedly manufactured on the same station of tooling. Picking is of particular concern when the punch tips have engraving. If there is any engraving or embossing, if there is of the letters, if there is any identification marking on the tablet, then this picking is of particular concern. As well as granular material is improperly dried. If the granular material is not properly dried, it may result in picking. Okay, the causes and the remedies of picking related to the granulation or the formulation. First, excess moisture in the granules. If the moisture in the granules is more, then we can avoid it by drying the granules properly and determine the optimum limit till what uh, uh, optimum limit of the moisture content. Ne next is too little or improper lubrication may result in picking. So we can increase the lubrication, use the colloidal silica as a polishing agent to the punches so that the material does not cling to the punch face. We can use the colloidal silica as a polishing agent. Now low melting point substances may soften from the heat of the compression and lead to picking. If in the granulation there are substances which have low melting point during the process some of the temperature of the machine may rise and this soft material may get softened it may result in picking. So at, at the high melting point material and use high melting point lubricants. If the low melting point medicament in high concentration, if the medicament is high concentration and it is of low melting point, it may also result in peaking. We can avoid it by refrigerate the granules and the entire tablet press, maintain the temperature of the entire tablet press. If two warm granules when compression, during the compression, if the uh, temperature of the granules is high, it may result in peaking. So we can compress the tablet at the room temperature or cool sufficiently before compression, cool the granulation sufficiently before compression to avoid the picking. If too much amount of binder is there, it may also result in picking. So we can reduce the amount of binder or we can change the type of the binder. We can use the dry binders. Going to the cause and the remedies of the picking related to the machine. If the rough or the scratched punch faces are used, if the punch we are using for the compression, these are rough or the scratched punch faces. We can polish the face to high luster. We can polish the 
uh, face of the punches and we can also plate the punch face with the chromium we can do plating of the punch faces with the chromium to produce a smooth face and non-adherent face next is bevels or dividing lines are very deep so we can design let uh, we must design the lettering as large as possible if there is any engraving or embossing on the punches it should be of large size and reduce depth and sharpness must be good now pressure applied is not optimum or too soft tablets we can increase the compression pressure to optimum to avoid picking next problem is binding now binding what is binding binding in the die is the term used when the tablet adhere or this uh, seize or tear in the die okay if the tablet breaks in the die a film is formed in the die and the ejection of the tablet is hindered with excessive binding the tablet sides are cracked and it may crumble apart you can see here the some part of the tablet may break okay inside the die this is called binding okay binding in the die is the term used when the tablet adhere seize or tear in the die binding is usually due to excess amount of moisture in the granules lack of lubrication or use of worn dies or damaged dies now the causes and the remedies of the binding related to the formulation if two moist granules are uh, used and extrudes they comes out around the lower punch if the moisture content of granules is very high and the extrudes comes out around the lower punch it may result in binding so dry the granules properly to avoid binding insufficient or improper lubricant is then increase the amount of lubricant or use a more effective lubricant if the granules these are of large size two coarse granules reduce the granular size add more fines and increase the quantity of lubricant if the granules are too hard for the lubricant to be effective then modify the granulation process and reduce the granule size granular material very abrasive and cutting into dies if the uh, granules are coarse reduce them in size and if the granular material is very abrasive reduce the granules in size granular material too warm reduce the temperature and if the granular material stick to the die then increase the clearance if it is extruding from the lower punch it extruding around the lower punch increase the clearance if it is ex causes and remedies of binding related to the machine poorly finished dies polish the dies properly rough dies due to abrasion and corrosion then investigate other steel or the material if the dies uh, these are very rough too much pressure in the tablet press reduce the pressure or modify the granulation next problem is mottling what is mottling mottling is the term used to describe an unequal distribution of the color on the surface of the tablet with the light or the dark spots if there are light and dark spots on the tablets standing out in an otherwise uniform surface okay in the uniform surface these uh, unequal distribution color spots are coming this is called the mottling okay one cause of mottling may be a color dry colored drug whose color differs from the color of the excipients used in the granulation if the color of the drug is different from the color of the excipients which are used then it may result in mottling what are the causes and remedies of mottling when color drug is used along with the colorless or the white colored excipients if there is color difference in the drug and the excipients then addition of appropriate coloring agent make both the color and the excipients of the same color if the dye migrate to the surface of the granulation while drying okay so we can change the binder change the solvent system we can reduce the drying temperature and use smaller particle size granules if the dye or the color it migrate to the surface during the drying conditions we can uh, what is the remedy we can change the binder we can change the solvent system we can reduce the temperature and we can use the smaller size granules dye if the dye is not mixed properly especially during the direct compression then properly mix the dye and reduce the size if it is of a larger size to prevent the segregation okay if if uh, uh, large particle size distribution is there it may result in segregation so narrow the particle size distribution and properly mix the dye now improper mixing of the colored binder solution okay add in dry color additive during the powder blending step then add the fine powder additive such as acacia and tragacanth okay 
what is double impression double impression is seen only on those punches which have the monogram or the engraving on them it occurs only on those punches which have any number or the letters uh, or any identification marking on them now what happens why double impression occurs at the moment of the compression tablet receive imprint of the punch at the moment of compression whatever be the marking whatever be the identification marking on the punch it will come to the tablet but in some machines due to the machine's problem the lower punch it freely drops and travels uncontrolled for a short distance before riding up the ejection cam to push the tablet out of the tie now in some uh, machines what happens the lower punch it moves freely to a short distance before the ejection cam brings up to the top to eject the tablet what happens during this short travel during this free travel the punch rotates to a little bit and this movement the punch may make a new impression on the bottom of the tablet and it results in double impression what are the causes and the remedy we can use keying in the tooling that is insert a key alongside the punch now it, it comes in all the modern machines that we use a key insert a key alongside the punch so that it fits the punch and prevent the punch from rotation newer compression machines have the anti turning device which prevent the punch rotation thank you for your time and attention guys if you like content of my video please don't forget to like them share them it takes a lot of time for me to make these videos so if you like them please share them thank you